Hey, Saturday, y'all. What's up? What's up? What's up? And welcome, welcome, welcome to the conversation. Thank y'all so much for tuning in, man. Y'all, that makes my heart so happy when y'all tune in. Thank y'all so, 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 so much. Look, the conversation is Eagle Vision's very first online talk show where we're going to be bringing you kingdom entertainment down your social media timeline. Each guest and each show will be different. If you'd like to be a guest, just simply inbox me and we can set that up. I'm your host, Mr. Eagle Vision, better yet known as J.R. Reynolds, the founder of Eagle Vision Productions. Um, we want your comments, y'all. We want your interactions. We want y'all to talk to us. So please make sure y'all share, make sure y'all like, make sure y'all subscribe, all that good stuff, okay? Um, if you want to sow a seed into what we're doing here, you can cash at me at the dollar sign, Eagle Vision Pro, um, and not me. It goes to the ministry. Everything we do is for the ministry. So, yeah, Eagle Vision Pro, you can cash at us. And for more information about what we do, you can visit our website, www.eagle-vp.com. Um, you can also follow me on YouTube, uh, J.R. Reynolds Music. And I'm up there singing. I'm up there cooking. And we're going to get into some of that later on, some things we could do to stay preoccupied during this quarantine. So, yeah. Uh, that, that thing that'll be a great um, idea to talk about later on. So today, 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 we have one of May's very special co-hosts. Um, and the way she came about being a co-host is she's actually one of my singer sisters, singer friends. Um, and she was in one of my plays a while ago. And we decided to connect. I actually interviewed her about two weeks ago and the chemistry was so great. I just wanted to bring her back. So for the whole month of May, she's going to be my Saturday co-host, y'all. And I'm going to go ahead and bring the singer, the actress, Miss Tanisha Keanu. What's up, my friend? Hey, hey, hey. So I'm just joking. I'm just joking. You know I do that with Harvey. I, I would sing something, but I'm still waiting on you to get that song together that we're supposed to be working on. <clears throat> See, okay, so how you doing today? How you doing today? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, good to be here as okay? always. Yes. Good, good, good. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much. Thank you. You home now? Look, Eagle Vision family, you back home. You back home. Yes. Such a privilege and an honor. How you doing? How you holding up? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, okay. holding on. That's, I mean, that's all we can do, seriously. All we can do. Yes. Yeah, yeah definitely, definitely. So what you got going on? <laughs> Well, right now, just staying home as much as possible. You know, I got to do my grocery shopping and all that good stuff. And um, that's about it. Just uh, doing what I can to stay safe, still working. So um, that's about it. Which brings me to our first topic for the day, which is actually what I want to lead into talking about. Okay. Um, I want to talk about your thoughts, our thoughts, share our thoughts on Georgia opening back up so soon. So that's definitely a big topic right now. Everybody in the state of Georgia and beyond has some thoughts about what's going on in uh, Governor Kemp's mind as to why he's opened us up in the middle of a critical state of emergency. Because, you know, we still are, you know, it's still a mess. We're not in the clear yet. So what do you think about that? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. It really is crazy i mean they're sending like this they're sending everybody back to work you know what i'm saying they're opening up the malls they're opening up the stores where the stores been open they're opening everything up and numbers are not going down and mm -hmm. what's getting me is okay i heard them say they haven't opened up the courthouses and all that stuff you know what i'm saying but they've opened up you know like they said it's a lot of stuff that is hair salons nail salons offices and stuff and that's where we're at and this thing is yeah. killing us so although yeah. I'm not scared, I'm like, I still got to go to work. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. crazy. Okay, jobs yeah. are opening. Jobs are opening, yes. But at majority of these jobs, it's us working. Yeah. Or it, it might be, an, and I don't want to say this because I don't want to really get in trouble, but people that is giving us germs. You see what I'm saying? Yes. <laughs> so, I mean, I mean, we're giving, I mean, We'll just move on. But yes, you know, like it's nasty. I People, got are you. nasty. People are yeah. nasty. And so it yeah. is so, it's scary, but I yet believe. You know Absolutely. what I'm saying? Absolutely. Um, a little throat hurting earlier. You know what I'm saying? Like a little, you know, like it wasn't hurting, but you just like, you don't know. You know, right. so it's bruh i mean we got it to work what do we do not, not that's go to the work. thing that's the thing nowadays it's like because the symptoms um 
are so resemblant of a regular cold, especially with it being allergy season and you got people oh, like myself and some gosh. of my kids. So it's like things that we normally deal with around this time. It's like you're scared because that normal stuff is taking place, but it's like, oh my God, is, do I have coronavirus? Because I swear I had my own little issue one day with my girl and I'm like, let me go drink some hot tea real quick. Just, you know, I kill promise it. that's what I was thinking. I was like, I got to get some tea. I got to, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's. I don't think t nothing tea gonna do the the way they talking. Tea ain't gonna help that thing. You know what I'm saying? Right. Only thing I believe is gonna help is Jesus. And if I want you to go, on, you to go on, I want you ever to go on. I think we're gonna go on. So yeah, yeah. I think it's. I think it's a mess. I think that. Um, what it appears to me is that the powers that be are more concerned with the economy and what's going on in the economy and the state of affairs of Georgia more than they're concerned about the actual people, which is literally going to put us in a position where not only, okay, you open it up, but you open everything back up early. Now you're going to have to look at later on, if we Come lose on. more people, then you have to close everything down again. And then that's just delaying, delaying, delaying. And so yep. Yep. It's, it's, yep. it's not beneficial. Yep. It's not. I, I think it was, you know, a poor decision. Um, I don't know what he was thinking about. And the fact that he didn't um, he didn't, you know, talk to any of his his trusted advisors about what's going on, you know, about him opening back up. I think that was a sure sign that he knew maybe he wasn't making the best decision. He didn't talk to the to the mayor or anybody else that was on that board that oh needed God. to know that this was happening. So, but, you know. But, like, like I said, honestly, I mean, God is in control. That's yeah. what we got to keep saying. That's what we got to keep believing yes. that God is yes. extremely in control. Seriously. Yes. And wow. thankfully, you got a lot of us who are still saying, I don't care what you said. I'm staying parked until I know for sure this thing is, you know, out the way. <laughs> right. So do you know, I know we're going to move on, but for the ones that want to say I'm staying parked, but have to go to work, what do we do? Right. Well, for certain, I have some thoughts on different ways to stay productive during this time. Um, I think it's absolutely necessary that we don't waste this free time that we have. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, so, right. Um, we have some people that are definitely still moving and shaking some things. Right oh, now we have... Okay, okay. <laughs> right now, I want to mention a play that's about to get up and uh, going. It's called Where It All Goes Down, Where It All Goes Down. You can submit your online auditions via Zoom. Just make sure you sign up online, submit your two-minute monologue, your headshot, resume, 60-second song, and you can submit all of that between May 2nd and the 5th. So you got from tomorrow to Tuesday to submit all of that at Queen of Dot Productions to sign up. If you think you got it, if you think you got what it takes and you're ready for the stage, here is your opportunity. So this is one way you can definitely stay productive during this time, you know, and you just never know what may happen. It's an opportunity. So hopefully everybody can, um, that gets a chance to see this, can go on and sign up and audition and see what happens. Oh, yeah. yes, yes. I was actually the <laughs> stage man uh, manager for that um, twice when she did it. So, yes, that's super okay. exciting. Yep. And okay, so you've right. seen the show. So, you've seen yes, the show. Have. Okay, awesome. Yep, yep. yep. Right. It was right. Oh, so, yes, I've definitely seen the show. Y'all going to be in for a treat. Definitely, definitely. So, that's how are you exciting. spending this time? So I'm writing, still working on some music. I haven't recorded anything um, professionally, of course, but I got my phone. I downloaded Audacity on my phone. So I'm just learning how to tweak that thing and work it so I can, um, you know, ultimately record some songs. I'm working on a play. Um, I know I don't have a name for it yet, but it's so good. Oh, <laughs> I, actually, uh... I started working on it two years ago. And it's so funny how it happened. The Lord brought me back around to one of my journals that I found because I have tons of them. And I pulled it out. And I remember the, the moment that I started writing. And I'm like, let me go back to this. So it's, it's going to be really good. It's basically surrounded. Um, it's encompassed by um, some female characters because the moral of the story is, is going to basically be I want to. Um, motivate women who are dealing with relationship issues and even some older people 
who are in church, you know how we, uh, how our church folks do sometimes, mm. who kind of push the younger generation away because they they look down on them rather than embracing them with love and mentoring them or giving them some wisdom. I know it ain't always easy to get in folks' tea and business, but you never know what word you give to them, how it might stick. You never know. So it's it's basically going to encompass all of that. Just relationship stuff. It's going to be some deep messages in there for people who doing right and ain't doing right, want to do right, and all in between. So that's the way that I'm staying productive. I just got to keep writing because that's that's my biggest passion is writing. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. Cool, cool, cool. What about you? What you got going on? You How you staying productive? So, man, okay, first of all, I still work, you know, I do work, uh, work corporate America, um, but yeah. I'm still doing this Eagle Vision thing. Um, uh, we shot the play, actually, God's plan. The last time we did it, we've got it professionally recorded. So okay. I'm about to release that online soon so people can Yay. do it for you. A few people have asked. Um, so I also have the sequel that I'm ready to release. Um, I just need to send it over to the cast so they can, you know, do their part. We're gonna do something amazing with that. And we're gonna do it while we're in quarantine. Okay. So it's gonna be okay. something so um, it's gonna be awesome. Um, even though quarantine is up, I don't think theater is back open yet. So right. um, I still want to do just the spinoff that God has already created and gave me, and it's, he just did it just like that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm still doing that. Um, I picked this up. You know, doing the hosting and interviewing. Um, I actually was like, oh, do I want to keep going? Do I don't? But it's like I want to. I don't know why, but I do. Um, I yeah. enjoy talking to some of the people. Um, that are up here, like myself, that are staying productive. And I actually yeah. listen to the next thing, just showing some of the different people who have been up here who are doing their thing. Um, yes. so this is the start. We got uh, the Bobby, Bobby and Renee Peoples from the People Network, the TPN Network, and they are up here in the Cobb County area and they are, uh, they are movie and film producers and everything. So they got their own thing going on. Um, and they have some of our kids, you know, I work for Hot Theater for Children. So they have some mm -hmm. of our children go on set with them. Uh, and they have movies, TV shows. I mean, they're everywhere, seriously. So that's the TPN network. I mean, there are people that are still doing their thing. Um, and they were up here a few weeks ago. They were saying that production kind of halted because of everything that's going on. So we want to, we do want to keep them in our prayers, you know, let them know that it's going to turn around. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Them, anybody else just to keep riding and keep doing because when this opens up, people are going to want what you have, you know, so right. we're continuing to stir up the gift. Um, and then we have my friend who is doing her thing every, I think it's every night. Or she does like a, a, a glam party and stuff, you know, and she has designer bags and bags and stuff. So that's Sharice Floyd. Um, and she has like a nice backdrop. She had a balloons and she up there doing her thing. So um, y'all can definitely go follow her page and go buy y'all a verse or two. Um, her husband actually <laughs> Floyd, I don't know if you've seen this, but I know you're around my age. You're in social media. Have you ever seen the guy went to the doctor um, and was getting a shot and he was like crying and going all crazy and it went viral? No. That was her was husband? husband? Yeah. So it was, it was so funny. And I've been knowing him for a long time. A long time. Uh, my mother, which is Kurt Denise hey, Reed. Hey, mama. Yes, yes, yes. I want to shout her out. Nisha's Heart of Restoration. She's trying to continue just to bless. And she wants to do something again for back to school. Even though we don't know how that's looking, she still wants to do that. So if y'all want to so please do that. And then we have my friends, the Newtons. Um, they have a show called The Tasty Talks. And it comes on, I think it's every Tuesday. And they do that grown folk taste that tasty talk. Talk. Okay. <laughs> I definitely need everybody to check them out. Um, the Newtons, that's my boy Mandel and my girl Adrian. Oh, and she makes all those blinged out cups. Ooh. I'm gonna take another cup. I was because she takes bling and she can what am I cut? Hold on, let me move this off the screen. Is she a bling this thing out? Diamonds, beads, whatever you want. Like nice. that's her thing. Yes, yes, yes. I have to hit her up. I like a little bling every now and again in my life. Oh, okay. Man. Yes. <laughs> yes. I just did my mom's tumbler. That's what they're called. Beads all yeah. around. It's beautiful. So definitely, definitely um hit her up. Everybody, seriously. Okay. And that's 
Adrian Newton, and they're a newlywed couple as well. Um, Yay, and you would think black love, married. I love it. Exactly. You would think they've been married forever, but they it hasn't even been a year yet. So just oh excited, excited about that. And then, I mean, I got a few. I got so many up here. I'm going to just keep going. Oh, my gosh. I wasn't <laughs> even going to show uh, my friend Hope Demp. She's actually a pastor. Um, and okay. she's actually, she started in a mega church here. Well, she's the roots was church of course she went mm -hmm. to Spelman, and then at, out of Spelman, she went into a mega church it was small and it became mega mega and now she's back helping her mom and dad who are like almost 80 and in a small church so she came from mega went, and went back down to her humble beginnings and she is still doing her thing you hear me for the that's lord you know and you know when we get mega you know how that's that's kind of different you know what yeah. i'm saying but she, didn't yeah. stay there, you know, and so I'm just so so proud of her, y'all. And she's a lawyer, she's a real lawyer for yes, real. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> for real, for real. She's a singer, she's a producer. Um, I don't know if you heard of a group, um, they toured all around this world. Uh, it's a group called Destiny Praise. It's a song, not until you submit to his will, Jesus is waiting. To Keep on going. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Keep um, so it start. Uh, oh, now I was trying to get you to sing. Submit to His will. Jesus is waiting till you get uh, 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 for it. It's something to be just saying submitting to God's will. But they toured this world or whatever, and she was um one of the main singers of Destiny. Ray. So yes, yes, yes. Yep, that's my girl Hope. I hope you ain't froze, Tanisha. Are you froze? Gonna make me finish the show on my own. Oh, y'all. Come on, Tanisha. Don't freeze up on me. <laughs> y'all, she didn't froze. Okay, but until she comes back on, I will keep on going. So on yesterday, 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 I had my cousin Tanisha. Tanisha. Oh, there she is. Thought you left me. I thought you left me. I had to keep the show yes, rolling. I had some connection issues. I'm with you. I'm with you. Oh, I've seen oh, her good. before. I've seen her somewhere before. The girl. I don't know okay. where. The girl is my cousin, uh, Chef T. She's a chef in Texas. She loves to cook. The lady okay. is my grandmother. <laughs> and we are oh. praying for her. Yes, yes, yes. So we are yet believing God for her healing. So please keep her lifted. Yes. Um, you know, she's getting older. You know what I'm saying? But I love my yep. granny, my granny. But Chef T was on there yesterday. Um, and then today we have my, well, not today. I'm sorry. Yesterday. Mm -hmm. Y'all didn't record it, okay? And I can't edit it. So today I have, <laughs> I have my cousin uh, today. Hold on. Look, today, which is Friday, tomorrow's going to be Saturday when you watch this, okay? <laughs> right. <laughs> so I have my cousins, both of my cousins. Um, the one in the back is my cousin, Kaylani, who is my mom's, uh, well, yeah. So the one in the front is my mom's cousin, first okay. cousin. And that's her daughter in the back, Kaylani. So Trina is in the front, Kaylani is in the back. They're both entrepreneurs. Um, Trina, which is in the front, has been doing, is a teacher and has been, teaching cosmetology at Asheville High School for the last 30 years. Um, she's a right, two-time breast count cancer survivor. Oh, yeah, wow. yeah, okay. Yeah. And then yeah. Kay and Lonnie, uh, my cousin, so beautiful. And when I tell you, just so humble, like just so oh. humble. And love to dress and just to be a really girl, but get out there and just be hood with you. You know what I'm saying? Just cool. <laughs> Miss Asheville, North Carolina, the first black Miss Asheville, North Carolina. And she was explaining yes. to me. Yes, and that's under the real thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Whatever all that stuff is. And oh my God, I wish I could um show you. But I think I can. I think I can. So that's Delani. Okay. I do want to um I had it tonight. So yes, 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 I got it. That's so yes. And I mean a beautiful spirit. So oh, that's her. Oh, look at that. Real oh, talk. I love real it. Talk, I love it. Real talk. I love yes, it. Yes, yes, that's my girl, Kaylani. So those are both my cousins um, on my mom's side. Powerful women, business owners. Oh, yes. and then duh, they own a business. That's what they were up here tonight. We were just talking about everything. They own a business called Asheville Pro Lash. And you can show up. You know, I'm just talking. just chopping it up. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's all good. Asheville Pro Lash. And do, do you know what I mean when I say Pro Lash? What do you think when I'm saying Pro Lash? 
like like professional lashes. They're pros. Okay. That, I doing lashes. That. Yes, I wouldn't have thought of that. And they said they are rolling in the dough, but that makes yeah, sense. Yeah. They do the real lashes, you know, like not the strips, none of that. They do the real stuff. And they um have now it was just doing that. Now they opened up a full, you know, hair salon, you know, face salon, doing all that stuff. So that's my people, and they're holding it down in Asheville, North Carolina. Yeah, we have to take a trip down there. Let me get some. Uh... Oh, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Pro lash. Yes, I got yeah. you. Um, so before we go into the closing, um, how do you feel about seniors? Not not college seniors, not seniors who've done it before, not old people, but 2020 high school seniors. Uh, it's so unfortunate. I think that it's, you know, I, I think that's a major disappointment for them. And I feel like at this point, I don't know. I want to say we, but we and whoever else is included, I think that people should be coming together to try to make some sort of um, create some sort of experience for them. Because you think about it, like we go to school from kindergarten, pre-K sometimes, all the way up to 12th grade. And that's that's like a major accomplishment. That's That's a highlight of your life. Who doesn't remember their high school graduation? Like that's what you wait for, you know what I'm saying? So to for that to be taken from them, I think it's very, very, very disappointing, and it's just sad. And I wish that um, I now I am seeing where some parents are like still setting up shop in their driveways or their local um, at their schools or their local parks or wherever, and they're having family members and friends ride by and shout these kids out. And I just think that's amazing because it's, that's so unfortunate for them to go through. And um, I have a couple of, of God nieces who um, are graduating this year and they're having to go through that whole experience. And I mean, you talk about they've had their senior pictures taken um, and they've done everything to prepare for this moment. It's at least four of them that I can think of off the top of my head who wow. have worked super hard. I'm not talking about barely making it. I mean, they have worked their butts off and excelled in their studies and they don't get that evening, that night to remember. You know what I'm saying? So wow. I think something needs to be done for these kids because it's, you know, uh, it's not their fault. You know what I'm saying? That this is happening. I so. totally agree. Maybe Trump, you can send him a check or something. Trump, maybe right. you can do that. Right. <laughs> Graduation <laughs> stimulus. Go on and throw it out. <laughs> that would be good. That would be so good. And yeah. um, so I heard that, um, I heard a parent say that she wrote a letter. Well, let me speed up. Let me back up a little bit. There's some excellent people in this world. Let me tell you this. There's some excellent people. So yeah. I know about four seniors that are graduating this year and you know i'm kind of connected you know i see what's going on here and there you know what mm -hmm. i'm saying so mm -hmm. i seen that it's a group on facebook it's called it's several groups it's called adopt a senior adopt a georgia senior adopt a this senior and there are people that are taking these seniors and adopting each and every one that they can at least wow. sending them money sending them gifts shopping for them and it's real do you hear me it is real all my people have been blessed by these people. You know what I'm saying? And it's yeah. it's awesome. And it's not like $10. It's not $5. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. These people are blessing these seniors. So praise the Lord for y'all. Seriously. I said that to say I was in this group and I seen this mom who wrote a letter and she was just saying 20 years ago when they were born or I might not whatever the years ago was. I think it was 18 or whatever. 18, yeah. 17, 18. Yeah. But they was going into 9-11. Yeah. So they went in, was born into 9-11, and their graduation is this. So it's just unfortunate. But we they're still here. We're grateful for them. Um, yes. I do want to dedicate the show to them since we ended up ending on them. <laughs> dedicate the show to the seniors, to the seniors. But I have a special senior, my cousin, who is with Joyce Johnson. I'm so, so proud of her. Um, she's Mount Zion High School. Um, she's 18 years old, and she we just learned today. Well, she just announced today that she 
is going to Howard University. She has a 4.4 GPA and a Victorian of Mount Zion. So extremely proud of her. And yes, yes, yes. Want to dedicate this show to her. Yes, that's amazing. Of the seniors. Yes, 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 yes. All right. So any last words you'd like to say before we roll on off here? <laughs> um, everybody just be encouraged, man. Just be encouraged and remember that, you know, trouble don't last always. We will get through this. And once we do, let's try to be better for this time. Let's use it wisely. Let's come out on the other side whole. Let's deal with whatever issues. Let's um, use this time to be creative. Start back thinking about those dreams and those unaccomplished goals that you have and use this time you know, um, to your benefit, to come out on the other side with something that you manifested, something that you created so that it's not a waste. Because who would want to go through everything we've gone through in the past month or two, and then you come out on the other side and you have nothing to show for it. So that's my encouraging piece. Spend some time with your family, making some new memories and find some time to spend by yourself, just going back and remembering some of those things that, you know, you maybe didn't have time to focus on before and make the best of it. Yep, I totally agree, y'all. I totally agree. And if you don't know Jesus, get to yes. know him. Yes. That's all I can say, for real, for real. But we love everybody until then. All right, yes. tonight, it's been so fun. It's been so fun. Yes, 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 all that. We're going to have to create a jingle. We're going to have to do all that. We're going to get yes, this Yes, I'm ready. You tell, your, you tell your friends, I tell my friends. They can tune in on Saturday. Look, yes. Look, I don't know. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll figure it we'll out. We'll figure it out. Look, we're creative. We're going to figure it out. Yes, we so, are. All right, I thank you so much. I love you. And until next time, I love time, you too. Know, I'm your host, JR. And this is my girl. Tanisha Kiana. <laughs> All right. Good night. Good night. All right, y'all. That was my girl, Tanisha Kiana, singer, actress. We just had a good show on tonight. This evening, y'all know it's pre-recorded. I'm going to go ahead and get off here. I hope y'all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. And if you want to send any cash apps, please, you can at Eagle Vision Pro on Cash App. Let's visit our website, www.eagle-vp.com. Y'all know I love you and there's nothing y'all can do about it. Until the next show, y'all be blessed.